What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Print Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scout report on Ty J. Spears. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the channel as I have over 40 different playlists of different players, as well as positional rankings with over 30 to 40 different players on this list. Without further ado, let's get started. He's a 5'10", 190-pound redshirt junior running back from Tulane. Stats from him, he's had 430, 27 rushing attempts in his career with 2,910 yards, rushing yards, uh, 6.8 uh, yards per carry, 31 touchdowns, 48 receptions, 584 yards, 11.8 yards per catch, and three touchdowns. Awards from he was Cotton Bowl Offensive Rookie of the Year, uh, Offensive MVP of the Year of the game. Uh, he was AAC Offensive Player of the Year in 2022. He was first team All AAC in 2022 as well. Strength from Spears is an explosive athlete with acceleration to torch defenses. He has the burst to get to top speed quick. And when he gets at that top speed, it's really hard to make a tackle, you know, a tackling angle on him. He also has the agility and the change direction skills, you know, with the balls in his hands. He's very sharp. Uh, Spears is also one of the best receiving backs in the class. On screens, he catches with his hands, and his change of directions, you know, is quick, and he has a, you know, fast accelerator. He also has good awareness to make blocks as a pass blocker. He also plays with good contact balance and gets yards, you know, after the contact. You can always see him fighting for extra yards, even at his small stature. Uh, I think Spears shows a lot of patience as well, waiting for blocks to execute. He finds his holes and uses his small frame to burst through holes uh, and get the yards. He's always looking for a cutback lane as well. Cons from though is his play strength is going to definitely be a concern at 190 at the next level. He's not a guy that's going to be able to drop his shoulder. He will be limited at the next level with you know the inside runs. Uh, he relies on his athleticism pretty much to make plays. Um, his frame is also pretty small, and he definitely will uh, struggle as a pass blocker as well in situations versus big hits uh, or even just holding up against bigger defensive linemen. Pro comparison, I'm going to have to go with Bilal Powell. Uh, they're explosive backs that wait for holes to open up, then they burst through them. Other than their size, Powell's acceleration, agility, and receiving really does remind me of Spears. As a fourth-round pick, uh, Powell's had nine seasons where he's been a big steal for the Jets overall. Uh, Powell was an elite third-down back, uh, third-down receiving back for them. He's had 58 receptions at one time, uh, so he was a really big receiving option for the Jets at one point. Spears could come in as a third down running back, but later on, he could do what Powell uh, couldn't do, and that's be a number one back in the NFL. Team Fitz, I'm going to have to go with the Colts. The offense pretty much struggled this year without Naeem Hines. You know, that spark and that playmaking ability and the explosiveness and the twitchiness has really been, you know, really limited on that team. I feel like Spears can come in and make plays as an, you know, number two back for the Colts. Also could be a, you know, big steal as a day three pick. Uh, and he could start early as a third down running back and could really, you know, complement uh, Jonathan Taylor. Draft projection, I'm going to have to go with uh, third or fourth round pick. Uh, his stock has definitely rose and could continue to rise as people, you know, keep watching him and keep being surprised of the talent that he has. His 40 time definitely will surprise people. Uh, maybe I can see a 4-4, which would be really impressive. Uh, he's dangerous with the ball in his hands and will be useful at the next level with, you know, as a receiving back or as overall, he just will be elite as a playmaker. Uh, he's my number one, number nine running back, and should you know continue to rise on my list. Uh, the only thing is he's a little bit smaller and is not an everyday back. But if you're looking for a guy, maybe like a Kenneth Gainwell from a couple years back, uh, Tajay Spears is definitely going to be that guy for your team.